Let's talk about search engine optimization and how Next.js can help us get it right. The Metadata API in Next.js is a powerful feature that lets us define metadata for each page, making sure our content looks great when it is shared or indexed by search engines. The app router gives us two ways to handle metadata in layout.tsx or page.tsx files. You can either export a static metadata object or export a dynamic generate metadata function. Before we dive in, here are the key points you need to know about configuring routing metadata. Both layout.tsx and page.tsx can export metadata. Layout metadata applies to all its pages, while page metadata is specific to that page. Metadata follows a top-down order, starting from the root level. When metadata exists in multiple places along a route, they merge together with page metadata overriding layout metadata for matching properties. Let's jump into VS Code and start with the static metadata object approach. We will keep the existing metadata in root layout TSX file. Title, Next.js. Description, generated by Next.js. In our about routes page.tsx, export a metadata object, so export const metadata with the title property set to about code evolution. While both layout and page can have metadata, the page's metadata takes priority when they overlap. Let's check this out in the browser. Looking at the home pages elements panel, you will see the title Next.js and description generated by Next.js. This comes from our layout.tsx metadata. Now, when we go to localhost 3000 slash about, notice how the title changes to about code evolution while keeping the same description generated by Next.js. This happens because when routes have multiple metadata objects, they merge together with deeper segments taking priority. Since about page is deeper than the root layout, its title overrides the layout's title. About code evolution overrides Next.js. The description stays the same because it wasn't overwritten. It was never defined in page.tsx. This pattern works the same way no matter how deeply nested your layouts and pages are. And this is how static metadata object configuration works in Next.js. Next, let's take a look at dynamic metadata. This comes in handy when your metadata depends on dynamic information like current route parameters, external data, or metadata defined in parent segments. You can define it by exporting a generate metadata function from a layout.tsx or page.tsx file. A perfect example is a dynamic route like product ID. Instead of having the same title for every product, which would happen with a static metadata object, we can make it unique for each product. Here's how we set up the generate metadata function. In page.tsx, first we'll create our component props type. So type props is equal to params, which is a promise that resolves to product ID of type string. And then we will use this type with our component. So params of type props. Finally, we will define the generate metadata function. At the top, import the metadata type from Next.js. Then export a function called generate metadata, exactly this name. And this is an async function. The function receives params of type props and returns a promise of type metadata. Within the function body, we await params and access product ID. We assign it to a constant called ID and we return a metadata object with the title set to product followed by the product ID. Now, if we head back to the browser and visit slash products slash one, inspect the title, we can see it is product one. Navigate to slash 100 and we can see the title product 100. For this simple example, we are using the product ID directly in our title. However, in a real e-commerce application where you might have a product catalog, you could fetch the product details within this function and set the title accordingly. We don't have an API to work with, so we will keep it simple and return a promise that results in 100 milliseconds. So const title is equal to await new promise, which will resolve 
after 100 milliseconds. So set timeout, resolve. Let's assume the title fetched is the word iPhone followed by the ID. We return title, product followed by title. In the browser, if we navigate to slash products slash 16, we can see the title is product iPhone 16. This is how you configure dynamic routing metadata in Nextshares. One important point I should mention is that you can't use both a metadata object and generate metadata function in the same route segment. It is one or the other. And before we move on, there is one crucial limitation you need to be aware of when working with metadata. It will not work in pages that are marked with the use client directive. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to create a new route in the app folder called counter. I'm going to create a page.tsx file that default exports a simple counter component. Count state variable, set a function, button on click to increment the count. Since the component uses React hooks, I will mark it with the use client directive at the top. I will also set the title to counter in the metadata object. So export const metadata. It's an object with title set to counter. In the browser, when you navigate to the route slash counter, you will encounter an error. You're attempting to export metadata from a component marked with use client, which is disallowed. Either remove the export or the use client directive. You will encounter the same error even if you export the generate metadata function. The solution is to keep your metadata in server components and extract any client-side functionality into separate components. So let me show you the correct pattern. In the counter folder, create a new counter.tsx file and move the client-side logic from page.tsx into counter.tsx. I'm going to copy the code, paste it here, remove the metadata object, and rename the component to counter as a named export. It doesn't have to be a named export, but I prefer my components to be named exports. In the counter routes page.tsx file, we can now import the counter component and return it. So return counter and make sure to import the counter component at the top. Remove the use client directive, the use state hook, but leave the metadata object as it is. Now, when you refresh slash counter route, you will see the counter title and the page renders without any errors. You also see the same title in the browser tab, counter. This is the recommended way to handle metadata in client components. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.